Okay guys, so today is another Wonton Wednesday, and I believe it's the last one of this little collaboration. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today, I am so excited to bring you along for this recipe. It is one that I have not personally tried yet. Um, it came to me, we wanted Mexican today, and I love chimichangas. And if you don't know what a chimichanga is, it's essentially a fried burrito, a deep fried burrito. Who couldn't love a deep fried burrito, in my opinion? Anytime we go to a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, that's usually the first thing I'm looking for on the menu is a chimichanga. So today, I'm bringing you along for chimichanga dippers, egg roll wrapper style. So, instead of using tortillas, we are going to be using the last of my egg roll wraps. Now, I have... um right underneath the camera so you can't see it. I have my meat mixture, my Mexican meat mixture. So this has hamburger. I ground up a pound of ground hamburger. I put in a quart of my spicy black beans and then I put in taco seasoning. And so that is, that's what's in it. I didn't bring you along for it because it's pretty boring to watch someone brown meat and then pour a jar of spicy black beans in it. So, but that's what I did. Um, now you just put a little amount down, and then you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. I am going to use just some cheddar that I have. We have our water to help us wrap these. And I'm super excited to try this because if you've ever tried to deep fry a burrito, you always have to worry about the tortilla coming open and all of your contents flowing out into the hot oil. Um, and this, it seals itself, so we aren't going to have to worry about that. So, I think these are going to be fabulous. Um, now, we are going to deep fry them. We aren't doing this the healthy way. It's Mexican. Um, and then I'm going to have some cheese sauce to, uh, dip these in, since they're chimichanga dippers. And look at that. Is that not the cutest, most delicious looking thing ever? So, I'm going to continue doing this. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe, like the video, share it, um, whatever you wish. I appreciate all of it, and I will see you back in just a minute when we start deep frying these. Okay, so I have my cheese dip melting and going and I have my oil hot. Now you could use, do this in the oven, but I'm just doing it this way. And we just want to get a golden brown on them. Now, something I did do is half of them I froze. Now you could freeze them after they were cooked, I'm sure, but I just froze them right like this. I put them in a freezer bag. That way, if I want them at a later date, I can just pop them out, throw them in some hot oil, and voila, fast food. Um, now, you don't have to do that. That's just something that I thought about while I was doing them because we really didn't need as many as I was making. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I thought it was pretty brilliant. <clears throat> now... Now once these get to a nice golden brown, and I am going to have to turn them, um, I'll show you how I plan on eating these bad boys. Okay, so they went for about five minutes, I believe, and I've let them drain and cool off slightly, and these, whoop, these look and smell gorgeous. I have some sour cream and my cheese sauce, and they're called chimichanga dippers because we can dip them now, usually in a restaurant, when you get a chimichanga, it's smothered with some type of sauce after it's been deep fried, and you could certainly do that with these, but the whole point of me making them like this was so I could hold them in one hand. I'm going to show you that is the inside, all cheesy and delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
That is great. It really... I love it just as much as I love a fried corn tortilla. Actually. Mm-hmm. That is really good. Um, this is definitely, definitely a good idea. <clears throat> Once it's fried, it crisps up. <coughs> and I honestly think it tastes just as good as if you were to use a flour or corn tortilla to fry it up. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll be doing another collaboration soon. Who knows? Um, if there is one going on, then I will try to be a part of it.